In this video, you will get to know in detail about the payment wizard of SAP Business One. SAP Business One provides a payment wizard that allows you to create outgoing payments in batches for checks and bank transfers and to batch process incoming payments by bank transfers. The payments are created according to your selection criteria and payment methods. Using the payment wizard requires the following steps to properly prepare the relevant master data. Step 1. Create a payment method by going to administration and select setup and select banking and select payment method. Step 2. Define default payment methods for customers and vendors by going to administration. Step 3. System initialization, general settings business partner tab. Step 4. Assign the payment method to the business partner on the payment system tab of the business partner master data window if it differs from the default. Step 5. Select the payment methods you want to include in the payment wizard by going to administration and select setup and select banking and select payment run defaults. The payment wizard then steps you through the process of creating payments, deciding who you want to pay how, and when. To access the payment wizard, go to Banking Payment Wizard. The payment wizard consists of several steps. Step 1. Payment Run Selection. Choose whether to load a previous created payment run, or create a new one. Step 2. General Parameters. Determine the payment posting date, and the payment type, outgoing or and incoming as well as the payment means, checks or and bank transfer. Step 3. Business Partner Selection Criteria. Select the customers and vendors, to participate in the run. Business partners with a balance of zero, are automatically excluded from the list. Step 4. Document Parameters. Determine the maximum due date of open transactions, to include in the run. In addition, you can filter by posting date, amount and document numbers. Step 5. Payment Methods Selection Criteria. Based on the payment type you selected, active payment methods appear. Select the payment methods you want to include, as well as the maximum balance for the entire run. The default balance, is that of the general ledger account, linked to the payment method. In case, you have open transactions to be paid. With a total higher than the balance, some transactions will not be included. Step 6. Recommendation Report. Based on the selection you made, open transactions appear here. Choose which transactions you would like to include. You can modify the balance due to be paid, cash discount as well the number of checks, in case of outgoing payment by checks. Click the non-included transaction to view which ones are not part of the recommendation, and the reason they are not included. Step 7. Save options. Choose between executing the run, saving the recommendation, or save the selection criteria only. Step 8. Document and report printing. Print various reports such as the payment forms, non-included transactions, outgoing checks and summary reports. Thanks for watching this video. Do write us for any queries.